What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm doing a Spectacle Island pros and cons video. So in every pros and cons video, I ask you guys at the end of the video or the beginning, I don't know, uh, which settlement you would like to see next and so far one of the highly requested ones is Spectacle Island so here I am doing it right now and we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it and we're gonna start off with the uh, pros. Alright so for pro number one Spectacle Island is one of the largest settlements in the game at the moment and actually is the largest settlement in the game at the moment so yeah it has a very just a very large amount of space that you can build with and it's just a really big place to build basically. And for number two, it's called an island for a reason. It's literally completely surrounded by water, which means purified water for days. And if you really need to farm, trust me, there are there is space for farming. This place is huge. There is grass, there is dirt, there is sand, there is stuff everywhere that you can just put your plants down on and farm with. So yeah, I mean, you need to farm, no problem. All right, for number four, the terrain is actually very diverse. For uh, building and everything, so basically it's got some. It's really hilly and everything, which can be good or bad, which I'll talk about in the cons in a second here. But yeah, it's got it's it's very hilly. It's got a bunch of hills. It's got a bunch of grass. It's got uh, dirt, grass, sand, surrounded by water. It's just got a whole really it, for one settlement. It's got the most diverse terrain I've ever seen in any settlement. And for number five, this can prove good or bad for you. I don't know. It's could be considered a con but it's right next to the castle so just like red rocket and sanctuary they can kind of be considered one settlement together because you know spectacle island could be your settlement and the castle could be your base i don't know just whatever you want to say and for number six it's just an all-around great place to just settle down and call home because spectacle island is huge it's got enough room to build you can put massive structures here you can do whatever you need to at this place it is just a really great place to live and build at i mean I still am currently building on this place, I mean, because it's so big and it's hard to come up with ideas for it because it is the largest settlement in the game. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hop right into the cons. Pretty annoying, but also got the uh, vault Tech rep of our... What the hell? What is going on? They're super mutants. Well, I guess we'll be right back after this is done. The place is surrounded by water, which uh, is good for purified water farming, but if you think about it, if you're one of the people who don't want to fast travel... For your playthrough because you're going with the whole RPG type experience where you just want to make it where you literally run from one side of the map to the other just to get something done then uh, Spectacle Island could prove not to be the best home for you because you would have to swim across the water every time you want to leave which uh, swimming is a no-go if you don't have the aqua boy or aqua girl perk which uh, makes it where you don't take rads and can breathe underwater and if you are attacked by any attackers, they spawn dead smack in the center of the settlement. I have had a group of super mutants, even in my Spectacle Island 1.0 build video, I had a bunch of super mutants spawn dead smack in the center of the settlement. I mean, they spawned in the center by the workshop, and they spawned down at the docks, which my settlement's based around the dock area that's closest to the castle, and they spawned right freaking in front of me, and I was like, what is going on? And... The only downside, in my opinion, to the whole settlement is there is a destroyed house, cargo ship, and other just things that you don't want around because they're, they can just kind of be sore on the eyes, if you know what I mean, just because the house is just taking up space, it's sitting there, it should be a scrappable house, just like the sanctuary houses that are good for nothing and can't be rebuilt or anything, because this house is destroyed. And if you are attacked, since this place is really far away from Vault 1 111, that means that the uh, attackers here are very high leveled, which means they will just straight dominate your settlers if they do spawn in. So definitely have a lot of defenses for this place. And another really bad, annoying thing about this is the bodies do not despawn. You can drag some of them to uh, to the ocean and just get rid of them, let them flow away, and go off into the sunset like a, like a boat or whatever, who cares, but... There's actually one of them that are just stuck in a, like a plank near the uh, destroyed house. I have tried everything in my power to get rid of this body, but no matter what I do, the destroyed, bloody body that sits there never will ever go away. It's in the center of my settlement that I have built so far at Spectacle Island, and it just sits there and looks at me, and it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, and it will never despawn. And for number six, settlers love to get lost on this island. I'm not joking. You can have a settler that has a job over at this side. They'll run all the way over to the other side, get lost over there. And if you are being attacked by the time that they're all the way over there, that poor guy out there is going to die. Because, you know, you don't have any defenses on this side of the island. I mean, there are some people. I've seen some builds where they've, uh, they have the entire island built up and it's ridiculous i mean there are some massive builds on this island but for some of you who are just have have like a small portion of the island built on and the other side is just kind of uncivilized and kind of unsafe uh yeah your settlers will end up getting lost over there and probably never come back and you may find their body just washing up the shore one day so uh, who knows 
And for number seven, the last con there is, it's, yeah, there is one more con for uh, Spectacle Island than there are pros, but again, this place is still good to build at and also bad to build at at the same time because uh, for number seven, the hilly terrain can prove challenging to actually build on, which means if you're trying to build like a settlement, you're going to have to build a very, uh, very, you're going to have to do some interesting workarounds with building the settlement because of the uh, hilly terrain. Because of all the hills and everything, it's just really hard to build on a level surface, make everything nice and good. But yeah, I mean, Besides that, I mean, I've seen some crazy builds on Spectacle Island. I definitely see that there are definitely some good workarounds for it. I do recommend living here. Um, the cons, there may be a good bit of them, and there may be some bad things about it. But don't worry, this settlement is definitely a great place to live. I definitely recommend living here. I know that I want to build this place up because, again, it's right next to the castle. I want to make this my main settlement for all my settlers and everything. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So if you do enjoy the Spectacle Island pros and cons video, tell me what you want to see in the next video for pros and cons. What settlement do you like to see? And yeah, guys, I would definitely catch you guys in the next one, and peace out, everybody.